Hey y'all. Welcome to our hotel room in Lubbock, Texas. <laughs> You're like, where's she at? What are they doing? Um, we came into Lubbock. We drove to Wichita Falls last night. We got in super, super late, stayed in a hotel, drove into Lubbock, Texas this morning, the other three and a half hours. And um, we have been with my mom and my sister all day. And um, there will be pictures on Instagram of that. Me and my mom, my sister, my nephews, Shane, we're all there. Um, if you want to follow and follow me on Instagram, I'm away girl, so I'm over there, um, and there will be pictures of that over there. But we had we went and ate a big fat Italian dinner. We went to my mom's house. She just moved, so we were helping her unpack and hang pictures. And we went shopping and went and ate Italian food. And we had more fun than we should, probably should have had. And Shane really, really, really helped tonight. You know. Um, help get a lot of stuff done around my mom's house and so um, anyway we're back at our hotel and we are staying very near Texas Tech University aren't we I think we're like literally down the road from Texas Tech um, so we got us a little motel room not a hotel but a little motel room and it's cute as a button and you can see the ceilings right here are kind of arched and they've got an accent well it's hard to see it's nothing real fabulous but it's kind of neat i'm not going to try to do a hotel room tour because it's not that fabulous but the ceilings are at a slant and they're high vaulted ceilings and then we have an arch entryway into the vanity and bathroom area it's just fun anyway so i told you guys i was going to do a sephora unboxing and um i haven't got to do that so what I did was I brought my Sephora box with me and I was gonna do it in the car on the way here but it just it it didn't make for a smooth video so I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it at the hotel room so here we are here is um, the Sephora play box it feels good to get out of town for the weekend doesn't it even I mean like it's like a rush rush weekend but it feels good to just get out, get away, see my mom, see my sister, see, my, I've got three nephews to see them. Anyway, okay, so here's our Sephora box, Sephora Play. Show off and share using hashtag Sephora Play. Here's our cheat sheet, that's what I call it, our description card with 50 beauty insider points, which I still haven't used and it tells me everything that I got in my box and I'm not going to look at it until um, I need it because I like to be surprised you guys know that so here we go um, Hoppy is in the room with me but he's sleepy he's tired and he doesn't want to be on film otherwise he would grace us with his presence but he that boy worked hard and he is wiped out Okay, so here's our little bag, our little Sephora play bag. It's orange this time. Work hard, play harder, which I feel like is my life because I work hard. I don't know that I play harder, but I do work hard. Okay, so the first thing we're going to pull out is Brio Geo Shampoo and Conditioner. Okay, this couldn't have come at a better time. <laughs> And if you have a subscription to a subscription box to Sephora Play and um, you haven't unboxed it yet and you're going on a road trip, go ahead and bring it with you because it's probably going to have some shampoo and conditioner with it, which you're going to need in the hotel room. So um, I didn't bring any shampoo with me this trip. I just used the hotel shampoo, but I did bring my own conditioner. So I washed my hair this morning. Um, it's dirty up, it's up in a high bun. My nephew, Nathaniel, he did my hair tonight. He's four, 
and I took my hair down and he was playing with it and blow drying it and putting clips in it and brushing it and he's the cutest thing you ever saw. I can't even take it. But anyway, um, this is Brio Gio Be Gentle Be Kind Matcha. That has something to do with tea, right? Because I bought that before. Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo. No harsh sulfates, silicones, or parabens. I don't know what any of that is, but I guess it's bad and you shouldn't have it. <laughs> anyway, shampoo and conditioner. All that being said, I'll probably wash my hair with that in the morning. Next customer in line. I would take my glasses off and avoid the glare, but then mama can't see. Okay, this is Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla. Do you need a lip sleeping mask? Did you hear that? It's a lip sleeping mask. I swear people are just trying to make money. <laughs> Why do you gotta have a mask to go to sleep on your lips? I don't mean to make fun of it, but really? Okay, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla. Hey man, if you say so. Let's see, let's read about it. I gotta hustle because I made Shane turn the TV down. When holidaying, which is what I'm doing right now, use any excuse to sleep in a little longer. For an instance, my overnight lip mask needs more time to moisturize. Wake me up in an hour. Need to know brand. A leader in the K-beauty scene for more than 20 years, Laneige helps or Laneige steps up their skincare with hydro ionized mineral water that delivers intense moisturization. Let's just put it on. I mean, do you put it on and rinse it off like a mask? Do you just put it on? Okay. Um, a lip sleeping mask, I think, is just pretty much fancy word for lip balm. So let's try it out. Oh, it smells so Ooh, okay, maybe I judged too soon because it smells amazing. I'm kind of judgy. I'm kind of regretting everything I just said because this, you know, this is like a cool drink of water after a long day in the desert. Which, if you've ever been to Lubbock, you're kind of in the desert. That's amazing. First reaction, first impression, I would buy this. Not only would I buy it, I'd pay good money for it. Would I call it a sleeping mask? I'd just call it lip balm, but whatever, whatever you got to do to sell the product. Oh my gosh. That's good stuff. Let me show you all something else. It's holding my phone. Never had this before, but Shane and I stopped at the store at the gas station to get water and look what they had. It's Chardonnay in a box like a milk carton with a straw. That's wine. <laughs> Full flavored and fruity with a hint of apples, pears, and toasted oak. Chardonnay in a carton. It's That's a carton like a milk carton. Just a little bitty size. I said, and it was like $3.48. Sign me up. Thank you. Oh my God, this, I can smell it through the box. Vanilla heaven. God, that's good. I'm gonna have to go get me some of that. All right, next customer in line. Ultra Berry Air Cream. Strength and balance and hydrate safe for sensitive skin. Okay, before we go any further, when it comes to Sephora Play, you can go in and kind of do a profile and they ask you about makeup, beauty, skincare. 
Of course, I put more emphasis on skincare because I'm not a big makeup person. My makeup consists of a little bit of, um, what's it called? See, I don't even know what the hell it's called. Cover up under my eyes. Cover up. I have one age spot right there. I cover that up. Powder, blush, mascara, and a lip gloss. That's legit what I wear when I wear makeup two or three times a week. So that being said, when I signed up for Sephora Play, I put more of an emphasis on skin care and not makeup. It doesn't mean that I don't like makeup. It's just that I'm more of a skin care kind of girl. So this is Ultra Repair Barrier Cream. Can you see it? I don't know. Let's read it. First Aid Beauty. Just like a suitcase helps keeps the good things in and the bad things out, this cream helps keep moisture in and pollution, irritants, and allergens out. How to use. Massage a quarter size amount into clean skin morning and night. Using a serum, apply this moisturizer right after to get the maximum benefits. It's a moisturizer. So um, when I take a shower in the morning, I'll use it. In the morning, I'll get up and I'll use my shampoo and my conditioner. I'll use my moisturizer and this balm, lip balm. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. I told Shane I only need him to turn the TV down for five or six minutes. We're on 12 minutes. I'm, tr I'm hustling. Sorry. Okay. This is cute something about the sea. I can't read this. I'm blind. Let's go over here to our cheat sheet. Late nights in exciting locales are a given. Blah, blah, blah. Hydrating primer that awakens skin the morning after is a must. Trust us. What does that mean? It's a hydrating primer. That is cute packaging. Look at that cute little packaging. What does that mean? What's I, I know what hydrating means. Primer. Let's see. Let's see what it is. A primer, I guess you put on before your makeup. Oh my god, it smells amazing. <sighs> okay. We'll see how that feels on my hand. I don't, will I use it? I don't know. I guess. It's a hydrating primer. I need to know how to use it. Okay. We only got two more things. Okay, the next thing we're going to pull out is Super Hya, H-Y-A, Super Hydrant All Day Hydrator, Hydrating Glow. Sounds like my kind of jam. See that? So what this is, It's a daily moisturizer that delivers a natural glow. I'll take that. I really love, you guys, this smells so freaking good. A primer you put on before your makeup, right? I know I sound like a complete idiot, but I'm just not a makeup girl. I'm not well versed. I'm not well educated in makeup. I know the basics, so I'm not a complete idiot. I know that primer goes on to prime your skin before the makeup, but do you put your moisturizer on first, then your primer? Does your primer act as your moisturizer? Do you put it in your T-zone? Do you put it on your whole face? I don't know. Could somebody please tell me what in the heck I'm supposed to do with this because I really want to use it because it smells like I'm in Mexico. So, somebody help me out with that. Okay. This is a moisturizer. It doesn't really smell like anything. But, I love a good moisturizer. It's no smell moisturizer, is what it is. So, we'll try that tomorrow. Maybe I'll try that tonight when I wash this. Because right now, I do have mascara and powder. and You can't tell, but I'm actually wearing eyeshadow. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, one more product. <gasps> da, 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 da. Mascara. 
Makeup Milk Kush Mascara. High volume, boom, extreme. Volume, extreme, boom. I love a good mascara. So, this is Makeup Milk. Bam. Kush Mascara. I like a teddy bear brush, so let's see what this is. That's a teddy bear brush. <gasps> Look at that. Gorgeous teddy bear brush. Okay, everything ain't for everybody, and everybody's lashes require something different. Now, there was things I was blessed with and things I was not blessed with. Um, I was not blessed with a little petite figure, but I was blessed with eyelashes. See? And when I find a good mascara, I like to put on at least three coats. And I love a good teddy bear brush. So I'm really excited about this. And I cannot wait to try it. I don't even know what to say about that, but um, I like that brush. <laughs> so that's what we got. It's our Destination Beauty and our cheat sheet. You guys, this lip balm, I think this is probably one of my most exciting Sephora boxes yet. Because this primer <sighs> smells like the beach. This vanilla lip balm, lip sleeping mask, which I'll call lip balm, which I'll wear all the time. And we'll call that lip balm. Love that. This moisturizer. Can't wait to try that. This moisturizer. Can't wait to try that. So I got two face moisturizers, a moisturizing primer, a lip, a sleeping lip mask, lip balm, and then a balm mascara. So I'm really excited about that. Um, this, you know, I did Ipsy for a while and I don't have anything against Ipsy, but um, I switched over to Sephora play and I'm so much happier with my Sephora play box. I'm so much happier. Oh yeah. And then I got the shampoo and conditioner. I'm excited about this too because I can't see. Green juice inspired set replenishes dull strands and nurtures with invigorating ingredients. It's a family based company. I'm going to try that in the morning. So, I'm digging it. Anyway, we are 18 minutes into my Sephora play. And I'm going to shut this down because my mama was tired. My sister was tired. My nephews were tired. My husband. I see a leg. He's exhausted. And I'm just wound up. I, I think I'm not tired because I'm just excited to be here with my mom and my sister and my nephews who I haven't seen in nine months. I, you guys, I haven't come to see my mom since she had her stroke. If you guys have been with me for a long time, you know my mom had a stroke. Um, and that happened about nine months ago. And I made a video back about that in the archives and it's called My Mom's Stroke. And I came down, my sister, my sister had called me and she's like, and my sister doesn't know anything about the medical field. She knows nothing. And she said, mom sounds funny. Call her and call me back. So I was in Tulsa and my mom was in Lubbock. So I called my mom and it was clear to me, 100% evident and clear that my mom was having a stroke because her words were slurring. She was a little bit confused and I, I recognized the signs. And I said, mom, I love you. Let me call you right back because I didn't want to freak my mom out. And I called my sister right back and I said, you need to call 911 because mom's having a stroke right now. It's happening right now, you need to call 911. And Kimberly said, should I just go over there and take her to the hospital? I said, no, you call 911 and you get in the car and you drive over there and you meet the ambulance. And that's what she did. They went to the hospital, she had a stroke. I've got a whole video on it. Anyway, that was nine months ago. And um, we came back and my mom has since done amazing. She's gone back to work. She's driving again. 
and she got a new apartment. She sold her house because it was it was too much for her to take care of. She can't. She doesn't have the energy she used to, and so she got a new apartment, and it's so freaking cute, so freaking cute. And so Shane really worked really hard, and he helped hang. He helped us go shopping for things Mom needed, and he hanged a lot of her pictures, and he just feng shuied her whole apartment, and laid down rugs, and put up pictures, and. I, all kinds of stuff, and we all went to dinner. It was a great time. Um, anyway, that's kind of an update on my mom because I know some of you have, hey, how's your mom? So she's good. And um, now my sister is going through a situation of her own, and I'm not going to talk about that because I don't know if she wants me to or not. But anyway, um, we came down because mom moved out of her house, moved into an apartment. She downsized a lot and she's like Amy I've got a lot of stuff you need to come get it so Shane and I came down here we're renting a truck and picking up a lot of stuff that she was ready to get rid of do you want this do you want that you know affigans pictures dishes stuff that you just need to keep in the family and so we're down here to see them and pick that up and we're gonna rent a truck tomorrow and it was a real quick trip we came in this morning and we're leaving tomorrow because mama's got to go to work on Monday anyway uh, that's what's going on, and uh, I'm just really energized because I'm happy to be here with my family. I don't get to see my family. It's just me and my boys, and I don't get to see my mom and my sister and my nephews but once a year, twice if I'm lucky. And uh, so it just really energizes me and makes me happy, and I get excited, and I guess I should try to settle down and go to bed. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. And I'm going to get off here so Shane can turn up the TV. Okay. Thanks for being such a good sport lover. He's like, mm. okay. Bye, y'all.